evaluating logarithms. Okay. Um. So yeah, I've I miss a lot of school because of this like musical that I'm doing. So I'm just kind of catching up and trying to figure out how to do it. That's funny. I have another student that missed all last week of our tutoring because he was in a musical also. Really? <laughs> Be the time of the year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, pretty busy, but the first one is, um, they ask us not to use our calculator on this one, but it's log to, and then like underneath it, it's two. A log base two of what? Log base two, right, of 128. Okay. Now, when you're evaluating log expressions, I've always found that it's easier if I go ahead and add the variable like that. Okay. Because now you can turn that into an exponential expression. What's the exponential right. expression? Um, uh, so wait, Number I, wait, why do you like... I added the X because you know how to turn this into an exponential expression. And you need to be able to do that to solve this. So what's the exponential expression of that logarithmic expression? I don't number, really know. Number on the far left raised to the power oh, right. number on the far right equals the number in the middle. So it becomes 2x okay, so equals 128. And now you can solve it without a calculator. 2 to the x. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. See, in other words, okay. adding the variable, I can now write an expression that I can figure out. X has to be what? Uh, 7? Let's see. X to the 5th is 32. X to the 6th is 64. X to the 7th is 128. Okay. Did you just figure that out in your head, basically? Oh, you, uh, it's a good thing to know powers of 2. Okay. There's a lot worse things that you could memorize other than powers of 2. And I have to okay. know that 2 to the 10th is 1,024, um, I think, or 1,000, or whatever. What's the next one? 256, and then 512, 1,024. Yeah. It's kind of worth knowing that 2 to the 10th power is just about 1,000. Okay. Because a lot of things are binary. So right. you need to know powers of 2. 3, not so much. In other words, you, you want to know what 3 cubed is and maybe 3 to the 4th, but that's about all. But 2, okay. you definitely want to know up to 7. Maybe even up to 10. But All right, what next? Okay. And then um, it's log base 6 equals, or log base 6 to, uh, I don't really know how to say that. Log oh, of, 6 of. Um, 216 to the x. Mm, you mean equals x? I don't know. It has like an x above the 216. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Okay, and they want you to solve for x, right? No, they, they can't want you to solve They just want us to evaluate it. Okay, well, first of all, because it's a logarithmic expression, I can move the x down in front and write it like this. Okay. Okay. Now, let's figure out what that is, because once we evaluate this, then it'll just go next to the x, and our answer will be whatever the evaluation of that is. Well, can you figure out how okay. to do this in your head, or do you need to add the variable like I did? Now, they kind of messed this up here. I can't add x, but I could make this equal to, well, let's just hold the x for a moment. Okay. Let's solve this. Okay. And basically, when I add the variable, what I'm saying is 6 to what power is equal to 216? Okay. 
I don't really so it'll be like write x and write it as an exponential expression. I can just say x to what power equals 216. Okay. What is it? So that'll be 6 to... You always know it's an integer, and you know it's going to be a low number. 2, 3, or 4. Wait, how, how do you know that? Because they won't give you problems like this other than that. Okay. They gave it be... a power of 2 where the answer was 7, but here it's 6 to some power. Well, nobody knows their Would it be power. 6 to the... Right. It's 3. Okay. That's equal to 3 because 6 to the 3 power equals 216. Okay. Okay. So this expression becomes 3x. Oh. Huh, okay. Because so I didn't have to change that to an exponent exponential. You don't ever have to do that. And in fact, a lot of teachers might not do that. Let's just back up a step here. And let's say the problem was evaluate that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, by adding the x, the variable, now I can say 6 to the x equals 216. And it's a little easier to solve for x. Okay. Okay. But you don't really, it depends on how good you are with logarithms. You'll get to a point where you know what this means. It means 6 to some power equals 216. So I can evaluate that in my head without adding the variable. Okay. Now, they tricked it up a little bit by putting the x as the exponent, but as all that means is that we, you can always take the exponent and move it down there, no matter what it is. Even if it was x plus 1 or if it was x squared, it goes in front. These two lines are equivalent. Okay. Okay. The only problem is, is that now it doesn't work so well if I say equals x. <laughs> right because they gave us an x. So you have to kind of figure out that that's equal to 3, which means this whole thing is equal to 3x. Okay. Okay. What else? Um, and then this is like a graphing question. So graphing logs. That's fine. Um, but it's y equals negative log base 2, parenthesis x, um, and then plus 4. Or it's parentheses, yeah, it's parentheses just around the x. I don't know if that makes a difference, but... It does. If, okay. if it was without, in other words, if both numbers are in the parentheses, that's a horizontal shift. Okay. But if the parentheses are just around the x, then that's a vertical shift. Okay. Okay. Now... What's the parent function here? Um, y equals log base 2? Of x. Okay. In other words, that's y equal log base 2 of x. Now, if I had a different base, it would still look a lot like this. Well, most log functions look very similar. They're like exponential functions. You can't really tell what the base is. Okay. One thing, they all go through that point, which is 1 comma 0. And all log functions do that? Yes, regardless okay. of the base. In other words, even if this was base a million, because okay. when x is 1, the log of 1 is always 0, no matter what the base is. Okay. Okay. So, we only got two adjustments here. We got this one, and we've got this one. Well, you always want to do your reflections first. And it matters which order you do them in. Okay. I mean, the only ones that matter, the order, is do your reflections first. If you have two reflections, do both of them first. Then it doesn't matter which order you do those two in. But okay. do your reflections before all of your vertical, horizontal, shifts, stretches, whatever. Okay. So in red, 
I'm going to draw this black curve reflected about the x-axis. That's what that negative sign does, right? Okay. Okay. So it's going to come down from there. It's still going to go through that point. That should be y equals negative log base 2 of x. Now the only thing to do is what? What's the plus 4 do? Um, vertical shift up 4. So the only point I really have on here that I know about is this one. So I'm going to move that up by 4. What does it become? Um, 1, 4. 1, comma 4. So I know my function has to go through that point. Okay but it's still going to have pretty much the same kind of shape as the red. Just shift it up. It's the red curve shifted up by 4 is what it is. Okay. So it's exactly the same shape as the red curve, even though it's not quite the way I drew it. But, um, but the one point we know is that one. Now, another point okay. that might be kind of nice to know is this x-intercept. Mm -hmm. Okay, well you get the x-intercepts by setting it equal to zero. So if okay. I solve this equation, I got zero equals minus log base 2 of x plus 4. I'm going to move the 4 on the other side, make it negative 4. Okay. With me? Yep. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. Now it's Wait, why? What's that? Oh, because it's a name. Okay, I get that. No way. Now tell me, what's that? What's x? If log base 2 of x equals 4, put that into an exponential expression. Um, if log, okay, so if log base 2 of x equals 4, so that'll be 2 to the x equals 2 to the 4. four. Oh. Equals oh. X. Okay. In other words, because I had my log on the right side, let's put it on the left side like this. Okay. And the only reason is, is that I have a nice little way of memorizing how to do these. And the way is you take the number. Mm, Take the number on the far left, you raise it to the power of the number on the far right, and it's equal to the number in the middle. Okay. But that only works if the log is on the left side of the equation. When, right. When I had 4 equals log base 2 of x, we have to do the same thing. You have to take the base, raise it. Remember, logs are exponents. Most okay. important single sentence you can remember about logs is they are exponents. So if I'm going to turn this into an exponential, then my 4 has got to be the exponent because it's okay. the log. Okay? And the base is always the little number next to the log, and it's always the base of the exponent. So right. if it's like this, you can still translate that to 2 to the 4th equals x. So okay. 2 to the 4th is 16. All right. Okay. And notice that if I plug in 16, 2 to the 4th is 16. So this whole thing turns into a 4, and you have minus 4 plus 4 equals 0. So, is all that tells me is that that point right there is x equals 16. Okay. Because I was trying to solve for where x was going to cross the x-axis. In, in other words, if I'm attempting to graph the green, I know this point 1 comma 4 
but I didn't know where it really crossed the x-axis. And okay. you can kind of see by the way I drew it that I was way off. In other words, if yeah. <laughs> is 1, that sure doesn't look like 16. 16 would be way out there. But um, that apparently is where it is, way out there. In other words, when you take this and shift it up by four units, you move that x-intercept all the way to the right by a lot. Okay. It still would be asymptotic with the y-axis. In other words, mm -hmm. it'll start way up there and come down something like that. Okay. Okay. What else? All right, and then uh, I don't know if this is going to be long or not, but it says expand or condense the expression. We can do that. And it, it's log base 4 and then 3x to the second over y. Like that? Yep. Okay, the 3 is not being squared? No. Okay. You know your three log rules? regarding multiplication, division, and exponentiation? Um, is it just... No, no, I don't. Okay. Well, we got the log of A times B equals the log of A plus the log of B. That's rule number one. Rule number two, the log of A divided by B. What do you suppose that's equal to? Um log of A divided by log of B? No, oh, minus. Oh, minus. Oh. Never doing the same thing here as what's being done over here. Remember log? Okay, so it's kind of... So you're kind of using the same rules with exponents. As the exponents. Okay, that's what I thought, actually. Then I have learned these. With different exponents, you add the exponents. And that's what we're doing. Okay. Adding the exponents. Remember, logs are exponents. Okay. Okay. And then the third rule is log of a to the b power. You can move that b down in front like that. Okay? Okay. So let's split this up. We got 3 times x squared. So it's the log of 3 plus the log base 4 of x squared. That accomplishes that. And dividing by y means subtracting the log base 4 of y. Okay. Now, I haven't quite fully expanded it because I still have that exponent. Right. Put that exponent down in front. When they say expand, you have to use all possible ways to expand it. And that 2 now goes down there. And you will have to do this in both directions. In other words, the next part of your assignment is condense, correct? Yeah. <laughs> well, is all you're doing when you're condensing is they give it to you in that format, and you got to get it back into that. So if they would have given us that... I could have condensed it back into the original. Okay. Because I got, in other words, I just do it in exact reverse steps. I take okay. two, put it up there. I can see that this is being added to that, so I'm going to multiply three times x squared, and I can see that I'm subtracting the log of y, so I'm going to divide that whole thing by y. Okay. And you can only use these three rules if the base of the log is the same. In other words, if one's log base 3 and the other's log base 4, you can't do any of these. It always okay. only is the same base. And that's all they're going to give you. They won't give you different bases when they want you to expand and condense. It's always going to okay. be the same base. Anna, sorry I got to run, but I got an 8.30. Okay. Well, thank you for your help. You're welcome. I uh, Sorry we didn't get to cover more of it. Oh, it's okay. Technical. I get the gist of it now. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Talk to you next Tuesday night.
All right, thank you.